Welcome back to the shop. This is Jacob with the wood plank. Today I'm working on an end grain cutting board made from walnut and I'm using eight quarter material. A lot of my cutting boards are often inspired by nature and this particular design was inspired by a river. So my thought was to make the center section out of sapwood and sort of mimic the water. I'll start by cutting random strips of sapwood and separating them from the heartwood. The more variety you can find here will translate into a more interesting gradient. Once you have a good amount of each, you'll start to lay things out for your design. I was able to find some really nice dark heartwood. It's almost this purplish color and I knew it would contrast really well with the lighter wood. And as I'm laying this out, I wanted to keep the dark sections on the left and right side of the board equal and let the sapwood stay in the center as much as possible. If you didn't want to take this all the way to an end grain board, this layout would also make a really good looking edge grain board. After everything was laid out and numbered, I did a final measurement and this panel is going to measure f roughly 15 inches wide by 32 inches long and it's right around an inch and three quarters thick. I try to alternate each piece and stay mindful of the grain direction. I then ran each piece through the drum sander and started my layout for the first glue up. Until the day I get a bigger planer, I'll just use this flattening jig. Once everything's been flattened and sanded, you can start to really see the range of colors. Wood selection is a very important part of the process. I'll spend a good bit of time trying to find the pieces that have the least amount of defects, a nice variety of color, and grain that just seems to work for that project. One of the more satisfying parts of building end grain boards is after you make that first cross cut and you get to see what is hiding in the middle. I ended up cross cutting these at just over two inches.
After a little wood glue graffiti, it was time for the final glue up. Since this is the final glue up, you just want to make sure you take your time and that none of the pieces get out of whack or shift. Just apply slow, even pressure because if something does shift, you're going to uh, have double the work when it comes back out of the clamps. So patience is something woodworking has taught me. This is going to be a fairly large board when it's finished, measuring uh, approximately 15 by 21 by 2. That's a lot of real estate for a cutting board, and truthfully it's one of my preferred sizes. You can really start to see how this gradient's coming together. And this is of course an abstract art in a sense because a lot of people probably wouldn't think of this as a river. But I did want to try to capture the feeling of movement and the way the light reflects off the water down the center of this board. After a lot of trial and error, my preferred distance for the juice groove is right at an inch and a half from the edge. So I'll place the very center of the router bit an inch and a half in from each side. And then I find that's just a nice ratio um, of not too far to the edge and not too far to the middle. I've gotten a few questions about what router bits I use. I'll leave links for those in the description below. You're going to want to raise the grain with a little bit of water. This also gives you your first idea of what this board's ultimately going to look like. I find that sanding up to 220 grit is sufficient and I usually stop there. This board did not fit in my usual container, so I just flooded the top and let the juice groove hold in the oil. 
I did this a few different times until the board was thoroughly saturated. Here's a nice little trick. If you have a few little swirls on the top of the board or lingering sand marks, you can get some fine steel wool and your beeswax and just buff that in and buff it back out. And it'll leave you with a nice smooth finish when you're done. Well, there you have it, a walnut sapwood river. And just like the river, keep those creative ideas flowing. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, take care from the wood plank.